Hey everybody, thanks for coming fishing with me today. Ah, oh, it's a good fish. I started this video out quiet with the original audio. It was just such a peaceful morning out here. I didn't want to mess that up with me talking. So this fish right here, he looked like he was related to that log right there, that stump, right? That's what I thought, but that's not. Look, that's what he's relating to right there. He's under that big school of shad, just following it around, and uh, or glass minnows, whatever that is. But when he saw my jig came down, boom, he, he smacked it. And that's what a lot of these fish out here are doing right now. It's early fall. Um, the fish are transitioning. They're moving around, getting to where they're going to be for late fall, winter. But right now, they're suspended. And most of them, are, if you can find those bait schools, you're going to find these fish. Oh, that's a good one. That these, the first several fish that I caught today were big, like... Uh, 13 14 inch fish i thought i was going to get my seven big fish real quick but uh because <laughs> the first several were really big fish this one's big too now this one i think he is relating to this cover but only momentarily like he had just laid up there and look he's even moving around a little bit now but he's already reacting you see him turning up bam he nailed it and so you know a uh, I love going out to Lake Darbon and fishing all this structure. Um, but today, that's not what I got to do, really. Today, that's another big fish. I think the first three or four were all over 12. And so, <laughs> it's like I said, it, it had me worried this was going to be a short fishing trip because once you catch seven big fish, you can't catch any more, right? So, you got to go to throwing them back and I hate throwing back crappies so usually when I get my seven big fish I'm just done for the day oh there's the okay you guys see the fish I'm drifting down towards yep now he is at the top of this structure right here but just uh oh okay I thought that was a fish down there I went after him first but didn't get him that's a big catfish I think but this one he nailed it so missed my original target um which is probably good that I missed that original target that catfish may have been a little much for this line but I got another big crappie uh actually I don't know if that was a big one or not but he looked like he was maybe more like a 10 or 11 incher uh oh the live scope screen messed up on this one um it's a but you can see the fish I'm targeting here but you don't get to see it actually bite the the jig but that's the fish I'm targeting. Now you get to see what actually happens in the boat with me as I'm lifting that pole up, getting them areas. And I've, I've had guys ask me, hey, why do you lift your pole up like that instead of just using the reel? I, I can fine tune that little, that last little bump, bump, you know, or wh whatever I'm doing to try and entice that fish to bite. I can I get much more fine tuned control if I just lift the pole slightly as opposed to using the reel. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, I have better luck doing that. You, so a lot of you, <laughs> a lot of you guys probably do better than me with the reel. But oh, this was way out there. This is at thirty feet. Watch this fish chase it up. There you go. He didn't. He didn't get it yet. There he goes. That was that was a long way off. Oh. This is, yeah, I remember this one. I lost him. You saw how he, he just kind of barely bit it. Like it looked like he just kind of chased it and then, you know, just kind of, he, he didn't do an aggressive strike. Well, I think that he just barely got it on his lip and then it tore free right there at the boat. But here's another one way out there floating around. Oh, and he, he smacked it good. That's going <laughs> to, that'll be a good hookup. But all these fish, I, I say it on a lot of my videos, I don't like chasing open water fish. It is much more difficult. This time of year, you're going to be chasing open water fish. They're suspended. They're suspended under these big schools of shad. So go out in deep to medium dip. Oh, this is that. So look at this fish. Something took a bite out of this one, maybe when he was younger, because he, he looked fine, completely intact. But look at that. He's missing the top chunk of his body something got a bite out of him when he was a smaller fish <laughs> that was kind of an interesting one um and here's a little school of them you see them between 20 and 25 feet right there there's three of them down there three or four now 
<clears throat> I lose sight of my jig. I remember this one. I, I come down, and as I'm about to reel through it, I lose sight of my jig. Well, I didn't stop reeling. Right? It, just because you can't see it just doesn't, doesn't mean it's not there. And so I just kept slowly reeling, and there he is. Cause you know where your where your jig is. You know there were three fish there, and that you're lined up proper. So don't go fiddling with your uh, your live scope, you know, pole or anything. If you if you know you're lined up good, just just reel it slow right through them. The only reason I do that sometimes is just because I'm making this video to try and try and show <laughs> better show. Oh, I love these setups. So there's one fish right here. We'll try for him. No, nah, he didn't want it. So then go for the other one. See if you can get him to react. There he goes. Got him. I love those one, two setups, or even, you know, more is nice too. It gives you multiple chances if you can find those where they're lined up perfect like that. It was such a pretty day out here. This is like the last day. I think it hit like 92 degrees or something. Um, but. Uh, it was just a beautiful day out here. It was a little got a little warm towards the uh, late morning, but that's probably the last day I'm going to fish this year in the 90s because it's getting cooler now. Oh, you can just barely see this one. Oh, there. You saw that jump, though. You could just barely see the fish um, as we drifted past him, but you saw that big jump whenever he hopped on that lure and thinking it was a little minnow drifting past him. Oh, that's another good one. Man, there's so many big fish out in this lake. I love Lake Darbon. Uh Oh, I lost live scope footage here too. But here again, you can see I'm lifting up probably a little too high here. Yep. And then I got him. That was <laughs> I had to lift way up to get that one to, to bite. Oh, that was a little big to flip, really. But <laughs> we got him, got him in the boat anyway. Uh, and I'm using tiny jigs right now. So I think today was 132nd ounce um, with 1.5 inch plastics. So really small stuff. And I'm going to go even smaller probably as uh, as winter goes. Up. Well, we'll see. 1.5 usually works out here anyway. Here's another suspended crappie. And if you guys notice... You know, there's a similar story between all, almost all these catches. These fish are suspended under this bait. You can look between five and ten feet right here. There's, there's a shad ball there. There's shad just kind of all over the place. Find the bait. You're gonna find the fish this time of year. They're not really relating to structure yet. They're still floating around eating bait. Now that's gonna change in about a month. They're gonna start laying up on all this timber out here, but. That's not what's happening right now. Oh, this, that was not the fish I was targeting. But that's not a crappie. <laughs> that, that's not a crappie. So I wanted the fish right below him. It's the one I was targeting. But as I drifted over this, that, what I thought was a log, it smacked it. And uh, I, <laughs> I didn't, I did not understand what happened right there at first until I went back and watched this video. That was a little channel cat. Um, but I, I keep those too. We eat those. But that was uh, unexpected. That <laughs> ah, this is another one where you don't get the full live scope screen. But that is the fish I'm after right there. And we get him. That's a big one. <laughs> big fish. It's, uh, it's about to be my favorite time of year to go fishing. I'm glad summer is over. Summer fishing is tough. And I can't. I don't have as much luck on Lake Darbon during the summer. Um, you know, it, you can if you if you put time into it and whatnot. You can go find great spots out here to fish. But I go to the deeper reservoirs um, for the summer fishing. But I'm glad to be back out on Lake Darbon now. And so, you know, I, I know I keep saying the same thing over and over, but I want to hammer it in. Look for these suspended fish. There's one. He sees it. Bam, got him. That's a big one. This is the time of year when you're going to be fishing for suspended crappie. So uh, look for them out in the open water, under the shad, and you're going to have a lot of success. You know, even if you're you're not fishing with live scope, what I used to do 
was this is the time of year I would have multiple poles out, dragging shiners around at different depths. When you find the depth they're biting at, swap all your poles over to that depth until they stop biting and just chase the shad around, you know, using your chirp, chirp sonar or, or whatnot. This last one I didn't have a live scope screen, so I just made it a, a full screen so you could see how pretty of a day it was out here. It was just beautiful. Uh, perfect, perfect day for doing this. And this is... Uh, this is my last catch on this video. I wound up with 16 crappie and that one catfish uh, today. And I caught a few other smaller stuff, like a few Gasper goo and stuff I didn't put in here. But I always catch a few of those out here on uh, Darbone, usually close to the bottom. That's a big fish. This was number seven. This was my big, big fish number seven that was over 12 inches. So, like I said, after I get, after I get my seven, I usually, <laughs> I usually hang it up. <laughs> I just can't stand throwing them back. And that's, uh, that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye, everybody.